Hi Special Agents, Mrs G back again with some reasoning practice. This is to see what you know about numbers. If you can read the tens and the ones in a number and you know the difference between largest and smallest. Let's go. Number one, Sophie thinks of a number. She says, my number is in between 40 and 50. It has sevens in the ones place. What is Sophie's number? Okay, let's take a minute and read the two different pieces of information we've been given. The number is between 40 and 50, so it would fall somewhere on this number line, with 40 being the beginning of the number line and 50 being the end, so it can't be bigger than 50, okay. And it has sevens in the ones place, tens and ones. We know that set of ones comes last, so it can only be on this number line. Okay, it can only be for either for counting on from 40 to 50. What number do you think that could be? That's right, 47. 47. Well done. Number two, put a ring around. That's just another way of saying circle it. The largest number, the biggest number. Now, don't be panicked by three digit numbers. These are hundreds, tens and ones. Okay, the largest number. All of these numbers have one in the hundreds place. They are all 100 and something numbers. When all the numbers have the same number of hundreds, we need to check out the tens to see which is the largest. So we've got 160 there, 171 there, 115 there, 150 there, and 107. Don't get confused between a teen number, a number that has one ten, and a multiple of ten. Fifty and fifteen. Okay, so look at the red numbers. Which is the largest? That will help you decide which is the largest hundreds, tens and ones. There it is, one hundred and seventy-one. Well done. Okay, number three. The table shows the results of a survey which asks pupils to choose their favourite sport. So we've got netball, basketball, tennis, football, hockey, swimming and gymnastics. And then it's got a number of children who like them. 24, 19, 12, 32, 6, 28 and 15. Which sports were chosen by between, there's that word again, 20 and 30? Between 20 and 30. So it would fit after 20 and before 30 not bigger than 30 which two numbers on the board would fit on that number line in between 20 and 30 okay let's have a look now netball is a 20 something number 20 21 22 23 24 yep i think that is in between 20 and 30 so i'm going to write netball in the next box 19 no because that will come before 20 12 no football 32 well that would come after 30 so it can't be 32 6 is no way near 20 is it 28 what do we think is that number between 20 and 30 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Yes, that would work. So we would write swimming. And there's two boxes because there's two correct answers. Well done. Number four, we've got some numbers. 55, 90, 18, 72, 80 and 27. I would always read the numbers carefully before you even look at the question. Remembering we read numbers from the left. We read tens first and ones. Write the numbers in order, starting with the smallest. So which number on the board has the least amount of tens? That's it, 18, because it only has one ten. Now, any good special agent crosses numbers out when you've used them. When I'm ordering numbers between smallest and largest, I then find the biggest number and put that at the end of the number line. Which of the numbers that we've got left is the biggest, the largest? Which one has the most tens? That's it, 90. 90 has nine tens. Let's cross it out. Okay, going back to the number 18, which number would come next? Is there a number on the board that has two tens? Remember that we read tens and ones, tens and ones, tens and ones, tens and ones. Ah, there you go, 27. 
and cross it out when we've used it so we don't get muddled up. Is there a number on the board with three tens? Nope. A number on the board with four tens? No. Five tens? Yes. 55 in that box you go. Six tens? No. Seven tens? Yes. 72. Cross it out and we've got one box and one number left and eight tens would be next and 80 fits in that box well done fantastic ordering number five look at these numbers remembering to read the tens the numbers with the dots on first 45 37 72 60 12 and 27 which of these numbers is the largest which has the most number of tens that's it, 72. Well done, guys. Number six, uh-oh, this looks more complicated than it needs to be. It's okay, I'm going to help you with them. So, we've got the numbers 606, 404, 604, 640, 460, and 406. These are hundreds, tens, and ones hundreds tens and ones and it wants us to order these numbers now have you noticed it doesn't tell us which direction I would always start with the smallest on the left hand side now to decide which is the smallest I've noticed that some numbers have six at the beginning and some numbers have a four four is smaller than six so these three numbers will be our first three but in what order so we've got four hundred and four 406 and 460 so which is the smallest number out of 4 6 and 60 that's right 4 404 cross that one out then we've got 460 and 406 which is the next smallest that's right 406 well done and then 460 because 60 is the largest number there now we're going to do the same with the 600 numbers we've got 606 604 and 640 now we've got 600 600 600 which is the smallest of the numbers the tens and ones 6 4 or 40 which is the smallest that's right 640 is the largest I forgot my own advice then put the largest one at the end which is which one would you put after 460 that's right 604 cross it out leave 606 well done guys okay number seven these numbers are not in order we've got 80 57 13 75 and 31 write the numbers in order they're just making the boxes go in a different direction again I will start with the smallest at the top getting larger and larger and larger so reading the numbers from the left as always tens and ones which is the smallest number which has the least amount of tens that's right 13 cross it out well done which number would you put next we don't have any numbers with two tens we do have a number with three tens so I would put 31 there we don't have any 40 numbers we do have a 50 number 57 would go there well done we don't have any 60 numbers we do have 70 we have 75 let's put that one there and 80 is the largest number okay so this is really trying to trick you because it wants you to read these two numbers as the same but they are not going to trick us we know that we read each number tens and ones well done number nine here is a sorting diagram the number 34 has been done for you so we looks very complicated let's take some time and have a read of it so the number goes in through this funnel if it's more than 10 larger than 10 it goes to the left if it's less than 10 it goes to the right then if it's even it goes down the even side if it's in the two times table and if it's odd it goes on the other side now even numbers and odd numbers we need to remember 0 2 4 6 8 even numbers are really great if a number ends in a 0 a 2 a 4 a 6 or an 8 it is even it is in the two times table if a number ends in a 1, a 3, a 5, a 7 or a 9, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, odd numbers make me feel fine. If it has that many 1s, it's going to be odd. 
Now the number six, let's take it on a journey. Is six more than ten or less than ten? Less than ten. Okay, now is it even or odd? Zero, two, four, six. It's even. Into the even side it goes. Well done. Cross it out so we don't get confused. 27's turns go into the machine. 27. More than 10 or less than 10? That's right. More than 10. Down it goes. Is 7 odd or even? Because we look at the 1's in a number, don't we, to help us decide whether it's odd or even. 7 is odd. Into the odd side it goes. Phew. Fantastic sorting. Number 15. Draw a ring around the person who is 11th in the queue. Now, don't let this trick you. If I was drawing a queue, I would start at the top of the page. They're trying to catch us out. Read everything before you start counting. The queue ends here. The queue starts here. So we need to start counting from the word start. An 11th means number 11 in a line. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11th in the queue. Well done. Put a circle around them. Well done. Fantastic. A shop sells scooters. December 57, January 30, February 23, March 45, April 52, May 39. In which month did the shop sell the most scooters? Which of those numbers is the largest, the biggest? Which number has the most tens and ones? That's right, 57. And the month is December. So you would write December in the box. Fantastic. Number 13. Desi walks on all the numbers and he goes from smallest to largest. Draw arrows to show the path he takes. So as he walks, the tens numbers will get larger and larger. So he's gone from one ten to two tens. Three tens would be next, so 36 would be next. Is there a number with four tens that he can step on next? No, there's not. Is there a number with five tens? Yes, 59. That's where he would step next. Draw the arrow. Is there a number with six tens? Yes, 67. That's where he would jump next. And then there's no seven tens. There's no 80 number, but there is 90. Well done, guys. Look, last question, number 16. This sentence is correct. 10 is less than 12. Two of the sentences below are correct. Tick them. So I would read them first. 19 is more than 36. He's trying to make sure you understand what the word more means. 19 is not more than 36. I'm going to leave that one blank. 28 is less than 52 less than 52 yes it is smaller than 52 i'm going to put a tick there 50 is more than 15 50 is more than yes 50 is bigger than 15 i'm going to tick it there now i only had to tick two and i've done both of them but a good special agent always checks everything out let's read the last one and just make sure we've not made any mistakes 45 is less than 23 that's not true, is it? Okay, 45 is more than 23. So you all don't need to do a cross of the ones that are wrong. You just need to do a tick. That is what the question has asked you to do. Well done, special agents. Leave me a like if you're getting the hang of these now. See you next time.